The General Intelligence Service of Ukraine released a video on September 11 of the attack on the Crimea, two drilling platform belonging to Russia in the Black Sea. The operation involved the use of 14 Sea Force boats and brought together the Tumor Special Purpose Unit of the General Intelligence Department, the Viking Naval Center, the Group 13 Unit, as well as the Kvazer Rex Aggregate Units and the Dozer of the State Border Service. An explosion and fire occurred on the platform as a result of firing from various weapons. During the operation, the Su-30SM plane belonging to the Russian army was also destroyed. The Russian Occupation Army Group in Crimea is experiencing huge supply problems. This is due to the state of the Kirsch Bridge as well as the actual destruction of the ferry crossing. This opinion was expressed in an interview with Oboz Revatel media outlet by Ukrainian naval expert, research fellow at the National Military History Museum of Ukraine, retired Captain First Rank Vladimir Zablotsky. The enemy is forced to do something because its troops in Crimea are left without fuel, without ammunition, he noted. The expert recalled that the ferry crossing across the Kursk Strait is effectively blocked and the enemy has to take unprecedented measures to protect the Crimean bridge. At the same time, supplies by sea are associated with great dangers and the railway that the occupiers built from Rostov to the southeast of Ukraine does not reach Crimea. So the group in Crimea and other infrastructure remain on a starvation ration, Zablotsky stated. In this context, he emphasized that the enemy uses resources by the carload. Moreover, the Kirsch Bridge plays the main role in these large-scale deliveries. The bridge's railway is about the army. The occupation army fights with wagon rations, spends a huge amount of ammunition. In addition, they also need food to feed these little green men and everything else necessary, he said. A combination of Ukrainian ingenuity and Western-supplied long-range missiles is making the Russian occupation of Crimea increasingly untenable. The continued weakening of Russia's position on the Crimean Peninsula is a major blow to Kremlin prestige that also has potentially serious practical implications for the future of the war. In addition to steadily depleting Russia's defensive capacities, Ukraine also appears intent on isolating Crimea by targeting the Kremlin's logistical connections to the occupied peninsula. Ukrainian airstrikes damaged some rail ferries on the Crimean side of the Kursk Strait, putting them temporarily out of service. Ukraine's ferry service attack has reportedly forced Russia to resume the transportation of military supplies and fuel over the vulnerable Crimean bridge. Moscow has sought to protect the bridge from possible attack by deploying a series of barges in addition to extensive existing defenses. However, the apparent ease with which Ukraine has been able to hit Russian air defenses and logistical hubs throughout Crimea has led some to suggest that the destruction of the Crimean bridge may now only be a matter of time.